You know, the governor got his flu shot yesterday, and he did so using new technology thanks to a Colorado company, PharmaJet, developing needle-free injections. And they just received FDA approval for some of these injections. And there you see the governor getting his flu shot yesterday. Heather Potters from PharmaJet and pharmacist Ann Carter both here this morning to tell us more about how PharmaJet works. And I'm going to be getting a flu shot. This Kim thought I wore this for her. This is K for Kim. It's actually for KWGN. <laughs> Uh, so, so good morning, ladies. Thanks for coming in. Uh, Heather, I have to ask you first about this Colorado company. This is really something you and your mom started with, right? That's right. We're really excited. Uh, so what did you get recently? What is the FDA approval that you received to let you do at this point? We tested the Afluria influenza vaccine made by BioCSL to determine that we were just as efficacious and safe as a needle and syringe delivery. All right. Well, Ann is going to uh, prepare a shot, and I'll be getting a shot now. And this is very simple, Ann. Tell us what you're doing. Well, I loaded the injector. I charged the injector first, and now I'm going to load the vaccine into the syringe. Right. As you can see, there's no needle. So this is similar to, to loading a, a needle, but without a exactly, needle. Exactly, without so, a needle. Now okay. place the syringe in the injector. And it's ready to go. So it's ready to go. So now, now you swab. Now if you'll come over here, I'll prepare my patient. Okay. And just relax your arm here. Okay. Have you had a flu shot before? Uh, yeah, every year. All right. But never one like this. Like this. <laughs> well, we'll see. I want to give people an idea of what it sounds like. You just hear that snap, and then there is a little pop. And a it, little it click does, and yeah, a little pressure. It, it doesn't over. feel, uh, I would say, all that different from an injection, because flu shots tend to be pretty mild anyway. But mm -hmm. there we go, and get a Band-Aid, and I'm done. So, Heather, as far as this technology, obviously, you, your research says that many people don't get injections simply because of needle phobia. And indeed, it's about 25% of adults avoid immunization because of the needle and maybe two-thirds of children. The future of this, then, you see this as being the way that all immunizations will be delivered one day? Well, I'd like to think so, but I, I don't think we'll fully replace needles and syringes, but I think it's a really comfortable experience. And we've had many experiences in different places where it ranges from a combination of complete relief for people who don't like needles to, actually, that wasn't so bad. No, no, it was very, very, obviously, much less pain than a needle. It was nice. And so this is already being used globally, correct? Yes, we have some experience in several other countries. And now in the, in the uh, United States, what sort of penetration, if you have, pardon the pun, do you have as far as in the market? Is this going to become commonly used uh, within a year? I think so. In fact, um, we're rolling out with some of our customers here now, but on a widespread basis, we should be ve very available for flu this next fall season. Well, it's fascinating technology from PharmaJet, a company from Golden. Heather Potters and her mom have started it up, and obviously it uh, seems to be going places. And thanks for the injection. You're Heather, welcome. thanks for thanks coming for down. Good us. luck with PharmaJet. And uh, Kim, I feel great wearing your shirt, protected from the flu. How, how good is this? What it's a pretty awesome. Needle-free. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My kids will love hearing about yeah, that no as doubt. well.